In the last year and a half, if you watch NASCAR, you have by no doubt seen Ross Chastain in your feeds. Whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's anywhere on social media, whether it's at the track or on TV, Ross Chastain has been there the whole time. He is the it story when it comes to drivers. And in this time, he has become very polarizing for a lot of fans. Some fans absolutely love him. They think that he is the best driver to come into NASCAR in the last 20 years for a multitude of different reasons. Others cannot stand him. They think that he's wasting space and just bullying his way through the entire field. And for me, I think that honestly, it's pretty cool seeing a driver like him. But I wanted to look into why fans love or loathe Ross Chastain. So today we're going to look into why NASCAR fans love and hate Chastain. First off, let's start on a positive note with why they love Chastain. The first big part is his story. Many drivers that fans don't like are disliked because they are pay drivers. They got in because of daddy's money. They were rich kids and many fans cannot connect whatsoever with a rich kid who has never had to really work anything outside of being a race car driver. And while sometimes that's not really their fault, a lot of times it's not, it still begs to differ in the case of Ross Chastain. Chastain is a former watermelon farmer who had worked years as a watermelon farmer and generations of his family had, then turned into a NASCAR driver who had to claw his way through lower tier rides, outperforming his equipment almost every time to get to the top before getting his big break at Trackhouse after Ganassi sold. He had many opportunities that fell through, and for many fans, they connect on a personal level with him. He's one of them, a normal person who worked a normal job that worked their ass off to get up to the top. Whether it's fair or not to other drivers, this connects with fans in a big way, and they're not going to see that rich kid persona that so many fans see with just about every other driver that comes into the series nowadays. And in that, he is really been able to capitalize on it. He has the famous watermelon smash due to his story that he has when he wins races. And the watermelon stuff has really followed him all the way up through every series that he's raced in. So I think this is a big part of why many fans from the get-go would give him a bit more of the benefit of the doubt. Uh, another part of it is his driving and interactions. Ross Chastain is probably the most aggressive driver in all of NASCAR right now. And you add in crazy moves like the Hail Melon and he is going to get headlines. Chastain did something last year with that move that Honestly, we really haven't seen too much of since guys like Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt Jr. were taking headlines. The headlines being about racing and not something awful happening. And that's just scratching the surface if you've come into NASCAR due to that. Chastain has gotten into many rivalries with different drivers, whether they're super popular like Chase Elliott or whether they're anti-heroes like Kyle Busch or in many cases what fancy as villains like in Denny Hamlin. Doesn't matter what driver you are, if you're in Ross's way, he will do what he needs to do to get a win. And that aggression is, in a lot of ways, setting him apart, as no other driver really drives just like Ross Chastain. Many have compared him to guys like Dale Earnhardt, Ernie Irvin, or Jimmy Spencer, and those are valid comparisons. And all three of those drivers were also drivers that were really polarizing for fans as well. But I don't think that he's any of those three. I think he's something completely different. He's himself due to these interactions and how much he's driving aggressively. He gets in other drivers' heads. He gets in drivers' heads and fans' heads alike and how they're talking about him. And because of that, he has really become almost a main character, as I like to put it, in NASCAR nowadays. You cannot look at any competitive driver out there, or even non-competitive one now, and say that they haven't had some kind of interaction or thoughts or just in general questions asked to them that haven't pertained to Ross Chastain. And with this, many might say he hasn't backed him up, but this week he gave people another reason to probably like him, his fight. His fight with Noah Gregson was one that I think everybody knew at some point was going to come, whether it be with Noah or not, and Chastain performed brilliantly in the starry eyes of the camera and those that are watching at home. You see, 
he actually was the first one to land a punch, and it was a real one. It wasn't like those pushing matches that most NASCAR fights are, where they refuse to actually fight each other, and then many in NASCAR media just call what would equate to toddlers pushing each other as a fight. In this case, he actually defended himself, and he showed that, hey, you want to mess with me on or off the track? I'm going to get you back. And that's something that a lot of drivers won't do. He didn't start a Twitter war. He instead dealt with it himself. And many people are going to like him for that. Now, while there are many of these reasons that people would like Chastain, many of the same reasons can be why people hate Chastain. For instance, his driving and interactions. I'm going to be honest. If my favorite driver, Dale Jr., was still around and Chastain took him out, I'd be pissed. I would not be a Ross Chastain fan. I'd be somebody wishing for his head to be spun into the wall. Instead, though, I'm not. But those fans of Larson or Hamlin or Kyle Busch or Noah Gregson, Chase Elliott, the list goes on and on. Those drivers' fans probably shouldn't want to like Ross Chastain because when they're running up front, he has or probably will take their driver out at some point, treat them in a way that they see unfairly, and from there, these diehard fans are going to have a long hatred of this driver. I mean, look at Dale Jr. fans after 2008 with Richmond and Kyle Busch. I don't think Jr. fans ever have liked Kyle Busch since then, at least until Jr. retired. This would be the same thing, I think, with Chase Elliott fans, with Chastain, Larson fans, Hamlin fans. I wouldn't blame them. Even if the drivers put it aside, fans are going to remember a whole lot longer. And it probably gets annoying watching his antics take up all of the screen time. I know if I'm a Denny Hamlin fan, I don't like the fact that his win gets overshadowed by Ross Chastain being Chastain again. If I'm a Bell fan last year at Martinsville, I don't like that the Hail Melon is more remembered than Bell's clutch win. So I can see why a lot of fans would not like Chastain. And many have said, hey, he does not have the winning pedigree yet enough to be driving like this. He only has two career wins. While I think that that can obviously change over time, I can see how people wouldn't like it where their more winning driver is getting booted out of the way or screwed over by a driver who only has two wins in his career in cup and hasn't won in a year. But that's just scratching the surface, in my opinion, to what I see has become an even bigger problem is the fact that Chastain can never own it in the eyes of many. Many will see how he apologizes after these incidents, says he needs to do better, looks down, acts sad, and it continues to be a cycle. That is something that's going to be off-putting to a lot of fans. Fans like myself, I like Chastain and what he does. I like his aggression. I think he's good for the sport. I hate the constant cycle of apologies that he has. So many are saying, dude, just own it and we'll like you better for it. And I think that's another reason why people might dislike Chastain, especially since he has been competitive in the Cup Series. Whichever way you look at Chastain, I do think you have to admit he's good for the sport. He gets people talking in a way that no other driver really has, honestly, in the last decade, decade and a half. There is no driver out there today who can grab headlines for simply the racing product or the actions of a driver on and off the track the way that Ross Chastain can, and it doesn't necessarily put the sport in a bad light in any way either. I would say NASCAR probably likes Chastain, probably loves the stuff he does, even if fans and competition may not. But with that, I'm going to pass this all on to you and ask, what do you think of Ross Chastain? Do you love him? Do you wish that there were more Chastains out there? Or do you despise Chastain and wish he had never made it up to the Cup Series? Or are you just somebody in the middle on it? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. Thank you so much to all my channel members for your continued support of this channel. And be sure to watch the NASCAR Weekly Podcast tonight on Eric Eastep's channel. We're going to be talking about the podcast party bus our car that'll be on track at Darlington. So until then, have a good one.